Hey guys, it's Lee, and today I have a little haul video for you guys. I haven't made a video in a while, and I recently went on a huge spending spree to update my wardrobe for the spring and summer, and so I thought I'd share with you what I bought. I only have four of the five deliveries because they all came really early for some reason, which is great because I don't have any time to really film next week, so I'm gonna do these four and then add on the last one at the end. Sorry if it's like a little bit jumbled, but uh, exams are coming up and my boyfriend is already studying for his exams because his are earlier than mine. I just have no free time. So without further ado, let's get into this haul. So first up, I'm gonna do a pretty little thing. Um, I bought quite a bit from here and you may notice a running theme with all of my purchases. There's a certain color scheme that I'm aiming for. I just wanted something like bright and nice, you know? I should have brought scissors. <laughs> Why is it double bagged? This is so bad for the environment. I thought they sent me the wrong delivery for a second, but this is all my stuff. <laughs> I just kind of forgot what I ordered. So the first thing I got is this white off the shoulder Bardo style crop top with these gorgeous long flowy sleeves. I've been obsessed with these kind of sleeves for so long and I'm so glad they're in right now because it is letting me live out my like fairy aesthetic dreams and I'm like not complaining. I don't want this to go away anytime soon. This is gorgeous. Um, I'm not too sure about my sizing for Pretty Little Thing, but in general, I've tried to size up on everything so I'm trying to put weight back on. So these are clothes that might not fit me the best now, but hopefully should in the next like month or two when it starts to get warmer. Next to kind of match my aesthetic and also go along with the colour theme that I'm trying to introduce to my wardrobe, I have this maxi skirt with two slits down either side. I love wearing maxi dresses and maxi skirts. I think that they are quite flattering for my body type because I'm quite slim and also quite tall. I've always loved wearing long dresses that kind of just elongate my body, make my legs look great, and also the slits mean I can still show a bit of leg. It's quite an airy, breezy, dare I say, item to wear for the warmer days. And this is an absolutely gorgeous colour. Not quite the purple that matches my aesthetic, but it's cute, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Next up is this lilac high neck long sleeve jersey top. I just wanted a simple basic in this colour and I don't really own many long sleeve tops. This one is also quite thin, so it's appropriate for summer, maybe on those cold-ish days, um, because Britain doesn't really get much sunshine or any sunshine. I am absolutely obsessed with this colour. It is so, so gorgeous, so me and Oh, it's so soft too. All of these things are really lovely materials and it just makes me want to kind of curl up in a ball and sleep on top of it. Probably not gonna do that, but a girl can dream. <laughs> Next up, because I don't own many shorts these days that actually fit me, I got these lilac floaty shorts. They are an absolutely gorgeous color. Again, sticking with the theme. Um, unfortunately, these don't have pockets, but you know what item of female clothing does these days. These are honestly so, so soft, so, so nice. Um, they're quite a decent length too, not too short, but also not too long. I don't actually own many pairs of shorts, so I did buy a few this haul, uh, just to sort of pad out my wardrobe a little bit. So I thought I'd get some purple ones. The last item of clothing I got from Pretty Little Thing is just this simple, basic white bralette style crop top. I don't actually own a white crop top anymore because I, misplaced it when I moved to uni and I have absolutely no idea where it's gone. Uh, it's dry clean only so it might actually be at the dry cleaners and I've just forgotten it and it's one of those items of clothing that's now like just like gathering dust in the back of the shop. Who knows? So I just wanted to get something simple. I wanted to get the bralette style because I feel like it'll go with more things. It's a lot more universal. It's just a nice basic and a good staple to have in my wardrobe. And the last item I bought is actually a pair of earrings. These are textured silver and white hoops. I don't really own many hoops. Oh, is that broken? No, right? Oh, it just, no it is, it's broken. Is it broken? Oh my God, it's broken. Are you kidding? They sent me a broken pair of earrings. These were a cute pair of textured silver and white hoop earrings. I don't really wear 
wear hoops because uh, it's considered quite chavvy where I'm from um, but these are really cute they're not like the plain sort of hoops that you usually see I can't really wear earrings that aren't made of real silver but uh, these are fun for just like a night out for a few hours they shouldn't affect my ears too much but I just wanted something fun and different to have in my collection but I can't wear them so oh well <laughs> next up is Hollister I wanted to get a new bralette and I'm trying to not shop in Victoria's Secret because I just needed a cute bralette and honestly shopping in Victoria's Secret just gives me so much anxiety so Hollister is easier and Jilly Hicks are like really good. I'll show you the bralette but I also got underwear that I'm not going to show you because that's a bit like we're close but we're not that close. <laughs> so this is the bralette I got it's this gorgeous blue green tone and it's just got a racer back it doesn't have any clasps on it obviously because it is a bralette it is padded but I think these are removable which is probably what I'm going to do I'm not really one for padding in bras because my boobs are a little awkward in size as a casting director once told me my cut measurements contradict the rest of my body I actually find it quite awkward to wear bralettes so I usually take the padding out so I've got a little bit more room for the girls <laughs> I was initially going to get this in burgundy but I think this colour is a lot better for like all year round wear I can wear this under something sheer or just on its own in the summer and I can also pair it with a jumper in the colder months just for like a cute cosy look you know so next up is H&M which I've already torn into and I am creating a huge mess in my room now it's gonna be great to tidy later first up I have this cute lilac trumpet sleeve blouse um, it's just like very flowy, very nice blouse. It does have a slit down the front and also a little one at the back with two buttons to close it at the top. It is quite a sheer top, so I will probably have to wear either a cute bralette or maybe even a vest top underneath or like a crop top, something just to cover up the girls a little bit more. But I think this is really cute. It's appropriate for law school lectures. Not that they really dress code us, but we make an effort. I don't think I've ever seen anyone in the law school wearing like pajamas or anything that could be mistaken for pajamas so like everything is kind of like a little preppy <laughs> which is great because I love to dress up so I just thought I'd get something that's quite thin and pretty for the summer something that I can wear to lectures but also wear like every day and get quite a bit of use out of I actually bought this in a size 12 because that's what the site recommended to me based on the measurements I put in which I I mean I put in measurements that were slightly bigger because I wanted to be I wanted to be able to like grow into these when I put weight back on so I don't actually know if a 12 is going to fit because I currently wear like sixes and eights but it's quite a flowy loose fitting top it seems so it might actually look okay being a little bit on the baggier side without being too too baggy next up I got this white well actually it's more of a cream color but it said white on the website <laughs> crop top with this cute yellow blue and pink floral design it's just got this like ruffling at the top the bottom and also on the sleeves I think these sleeves are super super adorable I am a fan of long sleeves that kind of have this this edge to them but this is the first top I've actually come across that has a cute shorter sleeve so I'm super super excited to wear this I tend to find that off the shoulder tops are a little uncomfortable but I like that this one is quite stretchier, it's got more of a give than most which is great with my weird shoulders, <laughs> my silly disabled body that can't wear regular people clothing without having a problem. Yay! Next up I got this white ribbed crop top with these cute buttons down the middle. These buttons I've been seeing everywhere for the past couple of months. I actually own a few tops with them. These are fake, that it's just like a t-shirt and these are just sewn on for the aesthetic I guess, um, rather than a practical button use. So no cheeky like undoing a button to show off the girls but that's fine I guess. Uh, again I just needed a white crop top and this is just like a fun way to like look a little bit different you know it's not so basic but it's basic enough 
Yeah. Um, another thing, I don't know if you can see this label. This is actually a H&M conscious top. It's 95% organic cotton. This is probably going to sound really weird in the middle of a haul video, but I am trying to be more conscious of my spending. I am trying to get a more sustainable wardrobe, so I'm buying pieces that I know will last me a long time, things that I think will age well and that really suit my style so even if they go off trend they're still very me and they're still things that I would wear a lot um, so it's great to buy from not just sustainable brands but also from their little conscious section I really recommend you check it out there are some super cute things on there sustainable clothing tends to be a little pricier but that's just because it is recycled and like there's a lot of good things that go into it Stepping out of my comfort zone with the next one, I have this white t-shirt dress. I don't know if this will suit me because everybody that I know that can pull these off are considerably shorter than me. I'd say like a good four inches. I am quite long. <laughs> I'm quite long. I'm quite tall. I don't know if like my legs and my torso will kind of suit this. I also hate getting lost in fabric. I do tend to wear like baggy tops and baggy jumpers quite a bit, but nothing so big, nothing quite this big. And I don't want to get lost in the fabric. So I'm probably going to cinch it at the waist with a cute belt or something just to, you know, change it up a little bit. But I thought it was time I stepped out of my comfort zone and bought myself a t-shirt dress because I have been eyeing these for the longest time. And I'm like, why not? Just go for it. Just, just go for it. Great rule of thumb is if 10 people hate your outfit, you're doing something right. Maybe I'll be one of them. Maybe not. Who knows? But if everybody else thinks I look like trash, but I think I look good, that's all that matters in the end, isn't it? And finally, for this section of the haul, I have a tiny little delivery from ASOS. I am severely running low on my accessories. I'm not really an accessories type of person. I wear these two bracelets, one that me and Jerry both have, and then one that me and Amelia made for each other. So she made me one, I made her one, so we wear those all the time. Um, but obviously, I can't wear a lot of necklaces because I religiously actually religiously wear this one. So uh, I tend to find that other jewelry just looks a bit weird. Um, I don't really wear rings because I'm too busy wearing my ring splints or some form of wrist brace and they just tend to get in the way but I wanted some new earrings and even though I might have an allergic reaction to them I'm gonna wear them anyway so the first thing that I got which I don't really know how to show you this are these white fishnet tights I own black ones but I wanted a white pair to go with my ripped looser fitting jeans. I feel like light denim and white fishnets look better than black fishnets and white will also look good with my black ones so yeah I just thought I'd buy a white pair. I don't know how long fishnets are gonna stay in if they're even still in by the time I edit and upload this video but I really like them and I also like when not just when they're peeping through on your legs but when they come up to your waist like above where your jeans stop. I think that looks really, really cool. Next up in here are just two pairs of earrings. Again, I just wanted earrings. So the first pair I got are these white and purple dangly earrings. They're just flowers and faux pearls. I think these are super, super cute. I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with dangly earrings at the moment. Most of mine tend to be dainty, just silver ones, but I wanted to go for something a little bit more colourful to kind of tie in with the colour scheme that I am going for at the moment, or trying to go for forever, I guess. Um, these are unfortunately gold, and I do only own silver jewellery because I have to match it to my necklace, because that's the one thing that I always wear. But because of the positioning of the flowers and the pearls, I don't really think you can tell so I think I'll be able to get away with it, but they're just really cute and dainty and dangly. My final purchase from ASOS and my final purchase for this section of the haul are these blue resin hoops. Luckily these ones aren't broken and they also have silver heart on them, um, which I mean doesn't really matter because it goes in your ear and out the back so no one sees it, but I just like that it's silver. Again, I just wanted some hoops and a bit of colour and a bit of dangliness to add to my outfits to sort of elevate them but also finish them because I feel like my outfits are never quite complete because I don't accessorise which is a really bad thing. It's not that I'm against accessories, I just don't know 
I don't know how to pair anything with my dolphin. It is a real struggle. Why did 12 year old me think this was a good idea to permanently wear this? They're actually a different colour than I thought they would be. I thought they were a slightly lighter blue. They're kind of a little bit more on the bralette side than they are on the true icy blue side that I thought they were, but they'll probably still go with everything and they're really cute anyway, so. I'll make them work. That is it for this section of the haul. I will be back to show you everything I got from Nasty Gal when the delivery finally comes. But for now, goodbye. <laughs> there is literally this. this is my life. Oh, I didn't get scissors again. My Nasty Gal delivery is here. Continuity reasons, I'm wearing the same top, but obviously you can tell this isn't the same day. A, because I told you, B, my hair is different, and C, I've got this blue thing on. So let's just all acknowledge it, accept it, and move forward. Let me show you what I got. So the first thing are these pearl hair slides. These are super cute. I used to wear clips like this all the time when I was a kid, and I'm so glad they're like in now because, I, because I'm ready to dress like 10 year old me again. They are silver, thing has to match. They're super pretty. So you know how I don't have many pairs of shorts? Well, it turns out I don't own denim shorts at all. So I picked up these ones. They are just these like medium wash denim. They have a roll up at the bottom. I didn't want to get anything too short or ripped or, you know, I just wanted to get something plain because I don't have denim shorts and I, I just needed a pair that would go with everything so I thought the plainer the better. These ones are super cute. I did get these in an 8 which I'm a little bit worried about because I am a 6 in most stores. I don't know how these are going to fit me but if they're a little loose I'll grow into them. Okay nobody tell my mother about this next one because she has always told me not to get white bottoms. Yeah I was one of those kids with a white and gold adidas tracksuit and I actually ruined it by falling over and getting grass stains all over it. So my mom doesn't trust me with white in general but specifically as I'm super clumsy and I'm always falling over so I just should not wear white. Having said that I bought these white shorts. <laughs> Again I just like it's just like a good staple to have. These are high-waisted runner shorts. They're kind of like a weird thick-ish but also not thick material. It's a very very strange thing to describe. They are also cut at the bottom, they're just a raw edge and they have- that's my alarm for my medication. They have this raw edge and a little slit up the side. They are just super cute and yeah just a nice basic to have really. And the last thing for this haul is something that I'm actually really really scared to wear. <laughs> they are these frayed edge darker denim jeans. Again, I don't actually think I will suit these. These I kind of bought on a whim because they're like in now and it's like a, a nice style that everybody wears. I don't own jeans this dark, but I also only exclusively wear and own skinny jeans. Now I'm still, I'm still like fully on board with skinny jeans. I just wanted to try something different because like mum jeans, boyfriend jeans, girlfriend jeans are in and I just wanted like a straight leg jean that was, I don't know how to, how to word this. I just, like I'm not bored of skinny jeans but I just wanted something to change it up. If they suit me, fine and dandy, we'll keep them. If not, then I'll return them. So please let me know if you think they suit me in this little try on clip because I need your opinion. I don't think I'll be able to decide <laughs> if I like these or not. But I'm like, I'm really on board with the frayed edges. I just like how it looks. And it's also uneven, which is great. I don't know, I just don't own like dark wash jeans. And they also have these two stripes down either side, which I think are very cool. Harder denim ages better. <laughs> it's sustainable Lee coming out. Harder denim ages better. It wears better and it won't show its age as fast as softer denim. They'll last a lot longer. I just really want a sustainable wardrobe because it is crazy how many clothes I buy and th throw out slash donate slash sell every year. It is an insane amount and you'd never guess I was a broke university student based on the amount of deliveries I get. <laughs> I mean I can see the frayed edges going out of style but like I can turn them up and put like little stitches in them to keep them 
from showing the frayed edge, I'm sure. Because rolled up jeans kind of always have their moment. Um, and they shouldn't be too short when they're rolled up. And then when frayed edges come back in, I can just roll them down, you know? I, I want them to last. I feel like I'm too tall and too slim for straight leg jeans. I feel like, again, with the with t-shirt the dress, I'll just get lost in fabric. It's mainly because my mum used to tell me not to wear straight leg jeans or like boot cut or anything because I get lost in the fabric. So I think she's just scarred me for life. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this haul. I'm not gonna tell you how much money I spent, but I will link everything down in the description that I bought. If you've seen something you like, then you can go have a quick little browse. Yeah, I spent quite a bit. Some of this stuff is on sale now and it wasn't when I bought it and I'm mad. That's life, innit? <laughs> Don't say in it, Lee. You moved away from North Wales. You're not supposed to be a chav anymore. You know, the company you keep is very telling of who you are, and I used to hang around with a lot of chavs, so they did rub off on me a little bit, but now I hang around with more well spoken people. And one annoying American accent. I'm kidding, I love you. <laughs> oh god, I hope he doesn't watch this. Ah! Like it's cute when people have supportive boyfriends, but like I just really don't want mine to watch my stupid videos on the internet because I make a fool out of myself all the time. Okay, I'm ending this video. But just that is it for this week's video, guys. If you liked it, be sure to give a big old thumbs up as well as me links down in the description. So make sure you go follow me. Subscribe not down. See you next time with a brand new video. Ciao. Mwah. Bye. I don't know what to do with the rest of my day now. I should revise.